What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel, Bob and Hood. This is Bob. Today's video guys, I'm gonna go over why I sold all 100 shares of Tesla today. Uh, so let's get started. Before we look at Tesla itself for the stock, let me just go over the three plays I made today. Um, I basically sold 100 shares of Tesla at $1,028.02. Um, right after I sold that, the price went to about 1,030, maybe 1,035. I sold, or actually I bought puts. So I bought 10 contracts at 4580, which is $4,580 per contract. So I bought 10 puts at $45,800 and literally probably two or three minutes later, I sold them because Tesla dropped about 10, maybe $15 at that time at an average price of $49.35, which is $4,935. Uh, so if you look here on the weekly option chart here, uh, so just off of that play in three minutes, I made $3,550. So Tesla itself, I still believe in the stock itself. I really believe it'll be two, $3,000 in the future. But before I bought Tesla or when I bought Tesla five months ago, I knew in my head if it broke $1,000, I would end up selling it. Um, but I believe that by the end of this year, it should have been around 850. So right now it's at 1,027. I think if it does fall below 850 before the year ends, I will buy some more Tesla or buy back into Tesla. And just another reason why I sold out of it, I'll show you my spreadsheet here. So this is five months of trading with Tesla. This is all the option trades I did each and every week. So overall with the five months, it's not the best, but I made $2,405 uh, trading with Tesla. But if you look here on the stock side, I made $44,000. So total, if you add this up, I made $46,405. So I increased it by 80% um, with Tesla. So 80% profit in five months, I couldn't resist. And also, like I said, I told myself I would sell anything over $1,000. Uh, so I was holding on once it broke a thousand. I was going to wait a little bit longer um, just to see if it would fall right back down. And it kept on going. So once it got past the about thousand twenties, uh, I pulled the trigger. So in the future, like I said, anything below eight fifty, I will definitely buy in on it. Um, anything higher than that, I just want to see where Tesla is going to go. Like I said, if we look at the day, it's up one hundred and fifteen dollars. For the week, it's up one forty nine. For the month, it's up 250, and the three month, not even you know, three month, it's 376. So it's up 50, almost 58 percent. So Tesla can do runs like that, but I would say at the moment it is overbought. Not saying that it won't go up to $1,100 tomorrow, or even $1,200 or $1,500 by the end of the week or end of the year. Just in my opinion and what I told myself when I first bought this stock that I would sell it at $1,000 by the end of the year. So like I said, um, I'll still do a few videos if I do end up buying Tesla. I do plan on making a few other moves. I will go over that with you guys probably in the next couple of days. Um, but for now, I'm just watching Tesla and seeing where it's gonna go at. Uh, let me know if you guys are still holding or if you guys sold some of your shares or all of it. Um, but like I said, I'm up $46,000 in five uh, months. So I can't complain about that and uh, definitely want to take the profits right now. But like I said, I do see myself buying back into Tesla uh, if it does drop down. If it does not, I would probably wait till possibly sometime next year, early January, February to see where the market's looking. Let's see if there's any type of new news with Tesla. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely hit the like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.